Hello Max Time Field Tech. As of this morning, I can't get to the server. Hello, Mrs. Customer. Could you be a little more specific about what exactly you are seeing? There are three different servers here hosting a variety of services, web email and file sharing to name a few. The server. I try to log in, and it says I'm not allowed. Since you are unable to explain what steps you are taking, when you have this problem, I guess I'm obliged to spend 10 to 15 minutes watching you log on to your computer, do whatever it is you're having trouble with, update our documentation with actual facts, and then begin pursuing the resolution to your problem. I hope you are happier that you didn't have to expend an extra minute of your time attempting to clarify the issue. How would you like me to clarify the issue? I don't know what any of this stuff is called or does. You have been using these services for three years now, and they all have household names, such as Outlook, Network Drives, and the World Wide Web. It's more likely that you are using this problem as an excuse to not have to work, and perhaps even better, have someone like me do your job. If you are having an honest problem, a simple screenshot would probably allow us to provide you with a solution to the problem in one step, over email, which we might not even bother to bill you for. Instead, we have to call your shitty voicemail system, access use the company directory, to find your extension number, and then screw around for up to a half an hour to find out that what you really mean is that you can't log on to the domain because you reset your password to something you can't remember. I sent you a screenshot this morning. Great. We didn't get it. How did you send it? Never mind, I'll look at the exchange server logs and see if I can figure it out. Awesome. It's a 15 megabyte PowerPoint with an uncompressed bitmap of your entire dual screen desktop. Which of course bounced at the first mail server it hit. Whatever, I sent it. Yes, I guess you did. I'll go ahead and reset your password for you and give you the new one. Okay, I would like it to be my old password, Kujo. I'm sorry. I'm not going to make it your old password and the word Kujo isn't even compliant with the password complexity policy. I'll generate one for you and give it to you over the phone. Capital X H J L P two exclamation point. It's saying the same thing. I still can't get in. Why is this happening? Everything has been working fine for weeks. I don't have time for this crap as it pertains to my job. Your password expired like it does every 90 days. We live in a society where people are responsible for maintaining a secure password and remembering it. This involves changing it on a regular basis. After you solve this problem, I'd like you to look at my BlackBerry. It's not getting email anymore. Your BlackBerry is not receiving your email because it uses the same authentication mechanism as your computer. You need to log on to the BlackBerry website and reset your password there as well. Why do I have to do all this bullshit? Mr. Phone Salesman told me that a BlackBerry was what I needed to get my email. Mr. Phone Salesman doesn't maintain your network and doesn't give a shit about your enterprise email system. You could have talked to us before you unilaterally decided to purchase this piece of crap. We would have analyzed your options and provided you with a strategy that would ensure cost-effective low-maintenance mobile access to your email, even though we will actually get less of your money in the long run. Now, we will struggle to keep your device working by resetting and reconfiguring it every few weeks, spending hours upon hours on the phone with your cell provider's tech support as we try to convince them that we are authorized to request their assistance, that the problem is on their end, and that the phone customer doesn't have a technical understanding of the mail system it is accessing. Okay, so when can I get my email?